city, everyone. That's Portland, Oregon, the Rose City. A lot like other cities around the league, right? Uh-uh, my friends. No, there's a big game about to start down there. It's an experiment, a big experiment, with 11 human guinea pigs all chosen by a computer. If this experiment works, the whole world will dance on Broadway. If it fails, 11 nice people are going to be up the slough without a paddle. At times, it will get intense, but the two doctors and the computer in charge of the experiment are convinced that they have assembled the right people. Dr. Dunn, good luck with Russ Hills and rest of people in Portland experiment. All right, pick a partner. Just feel free to get up and move around to the partner you'd like to talk with. It's being called the Portland Experiment. In a nutshell, it's a weekly team meeting designed to bring 11 strangers together and get them to function as a close-knit unit. Do a lot of racquetball four or five times a week. Uh, play with some real good people. Uh, Each person change. coming to the team meeting has a weakness. Valium, infidelity, impotence, schizophrenia, croissants. In other words, they're regular folks, nice people beneath the hang-ups and the hassles. Do you believe this now? I spend a half an hour a day in a tanning booth. <laughs> Stay tuned. You look good. And when you look we'll be back with more yeah, that's true. Pillars you know, you of Portland. Present to mm -hmm. person. Now, my friends, the starting lineup. Leading off from a big lumber family, playing the role of a slick man about town, wearing a gold chain, Wes Hills. Mac. Wes, what's the name? How you doing? Fine. Want to buy tea? Oh, no thanks. I've got an appointment here very shortly. You look pretty rough, Wes. What's the problem? <laughs> Jeez, I just came from the bank. They won $110,000 in 60 days. It's a lot of money. You're not kidding, it's a lot of money. Oh, hi. Can I have Uh, please. Uh, Tangeray on the Rocks with a twist. Okay. Uh, make it a double. Double. <laughs> Put on the table. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, but anyway, I'm just kind of trying to figure something out here. Well, do you have any ideas? Yeah, I got an idea. <laughs> you know, this prime rib is great. Have you tried this? No, no, no. This involves you, though, Mac. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't want to go without going into details. If you give me $20,000 today, mm -hmm. I can give you $70,000 back in 30 days. Your twenty plus fifty thousand mm -hmm, dollars mm -hmm. for your this is your trouble. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. nice. Is this legal? It doesn't matter. It's not gonna involve you. Wes Hills. Oh, well. Data indicates a real ladies man Good, with uh, big problems. Right now, uh, Financial disaster okay. ahead. Yeah. Desperate. Yeah. Oh hey look, I'm really sorry about the other night. It's never happened to me before. <laughs> Let's see it. I know hard to believe we've started it. Oh, it's been such a long time. You know what we've got? We've got the perfect group. Well, the computer readouts are perfect. I can't know them. Of course. But it's the chemistry. They've got all the characteristics we were looking for. Physical characteristics, idiosyncrasies, demographics. It's perfect. Good. Well, we've got all the right ingredients. If you and I can be. All of the people in the group are strangers except two. Grant Parks and Laurel Hurst used to be married. Let's meet them next. Mr. Grant Parks, 
Mr. Mellow, Mr. Crunchy Granola. I saw you and Jody today. I was just walking home with him and thought he's a friend. I thought he was your boyfriend. Would you knock it off? Would you please leave? Call next to you. Inside. No, he's perspiring. Hi. How are you? <sighs> Come and sit down. Tell me what you did today. Well, I went to the book fair and I, I got this book on motocross racing. You did? Yeah. You liked it? Yeah. And what's wrong with you? A little down? What's what's the problem? Mom's in one of her crappy moods. Oh, what's she doing? Is she skulking around? Why don't we give her a few lashes against the post? Hmm? You want me to do that? Sure. All I'd right. like to see you try. Well, how about giving me a kiss on the face in here? All right, I'll go talk to her. Up on him. All right. Wow. Oh, Grant. Hi. Hi. Oh, am I hungry? I am just going to get a snack. Just a little snack. I don't have much time. To eat. I don't have much time. You should have eaten. Well, I did. I had a, I had a small lunch. I heard good news today, though. Good news today. Well, I've had off nothing but bad news. New sales representative coming in. She's supposed to be sharp and on the ball. Oh, great. And, nothing uh, like I'm me, huh? Huh? Well, look around you. Nothing like me. I'm never sharp and on the ball. So the kitchen's a little... Messy. Yeah, because I'm trying to do a 10 million music more. Anyway, I know I'm going to make a lot more money, so I thought maybe I'd get a new car. What? A new car? Oh, I'm getting tired of the old clunker. Yeah, well, I don't want one. Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, Why, what's wrong with you, anyway? What's, what's your, your... You don't really want to know. You're obviously in a hurry. Is it the session? Hurry. It must be the session. No, it's not the session. I had a really awful day today, Grant, because... Because why? Well, the vice principal has decided to completely cut ESL. Maybe. It's not absolutely for sure, but he's telling me that. And he won't let me in on any of these meetings. So I can't do anything about it. Everything I've worked years, for ten for years. ten years. You were smart. You got out of it early. Well, is there no way you could talk to him or anything? Are you done now? here? No, there's no way I can talk to him. Well, you won't let me. Why don't we call him up? Let's go over and talk no, to him. No, I don't know, Grant. This whole thing, this therapy thing, what else? this everything. What else? I don't know if I can else handle you want this. To be, besides this, you're real close with the kids. Is there somebody else affecting you in this? I know there is. Yeah, well, there's just one, one Vietnamese child that's released. It's scary. She doesn't have any place to stay anymore. No job, nothing. Oh, Shang, I didn't have any idea this was happening. I would like to talk to you more about it. Um, why don't you see me after class, okay? Yes. And maybe we can talk some more. Okay. But right now, don't you worry about it, because it's important for you to be here. Yes. Because you're just learning to read now. So you have to stay in school, but maybe we can talk about an another possibility. Laurel Hurst, bad case of caretaker's blues. Feels responsible for everything. Father ex-husband, daughter's behavior, Vietnam War. I'm not sure. Well, that's exactly the way this district operates, isn't it? I feel to see the connection here. Did you notice Shane, who I was just speaking to? Of course. She spent four years in a refugee camp, John. She asked me today if I would help her find a job. Well, well, she doesn't even know how to read. Don't you see how hard she is trying? They're all trying so hard. I know that, Laurel. Well, somebody doesn't know it. These kids are getting screwed over here. I'm sorry, John. I know that this is not your fault. But it... Look. You can't take these kids' problems home with you. You know that. Somebody has to take them home with them. Did you read the paper this morning? Christian missionaries are telling them that their religion is no good. They are trying to get rid of their religion. They're telling them to forget about it. They're ruining it. Look. It's what, three o'clock now? How about if I get back to you tomorrow at six? You come to my office, we'll talk about it then. I've got a class to teach. There's just too much. All right, fine. Thanks okay. for your help. Potential burnout. 
needs to have some fun. I don't know what to do for I can't do anything. Look at, um, you want to drop it for tonight or the session? We can go another time, you know? Well, the thought has crossed my mind. Is that the only one for the day? <laughs> no, I'm not. sounds divorce, friendly, cooperative. Dr. Dunn, the data indicates they were nuts to break up. You're going to be with me tonight, right? We're going to be together. No sitting across the room from each other. No, we'll sit next to each other. We'll talk.